Hi everyone, Trish here. Thank you so much for coming in so we can hang out and talk about some of our favorite things. Well, at least some of my favorite things. Maybe you like them too. Today we're going to do my week in review. I have some, I have some things to share. A little bit of difficulties with, uh, with something that I've heard nothing but good about. So I'm going to share that, share some other things that I've used this week, and we're just going to hang out and talk about our week. So if you are interested in my week in review, and please keep watching. I'd like to quickly give a little bit of a backstory. I just did my first day finished look with the Urban Decay Born to Run eyeshadow palette. I filmed doing at least half of the eye look. I had it on. I forgot to hit record. It was just a hot mess. It's just kind of what you expect from me. The day went on. Craziness happened. Our farm vet just left. It's been in the 80s. I've been outside sweating and I really just want to take a cold shower and go to bed right now to be honest, but we're not going to. We're going to be here because I'm really excited about something and it's a first impression, but wow, wow. Anyway, let me talk to you about this foundation. This is the new Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. I am sure that you have seen this come up on your suggested feed by other video creators talking about this foundation. I was super excited to try this. I had scrubbed myself tan off at the beginning of the week and when I found out that, you know, I went on that rant about the shade matching whole thing not working, well, this was ordered with all these other dark foundations and here I am, fair as can be, and this matches me perfect. So this is Silk 310, yeah, 310 Silk. I've heard so much good about it and I have been struggling with it all week. I'm just being honest. It was not staying on my skin. It would break down. One primer I used, it broke down, which this primer has never let me down. I tried other primers. The primer I used today was like magic. I did not get to do my finished look clip for this video until just now. And it's been eight and a half hours. I have not touched my foundation. I did touch up my lipstick about an hour and a half ago, but for this foundation to still look this put together, I wanted to kind of blot right here. This doesn't bother me. Like if I need to blot a little bit, that doesn't bother me, but it was literally breaking down before. Like I said, a little bit more glowy than I really like to be right here in this area. So I am going to touch that up. But first, I do want to say that my nose is always my problematic area. And it is absolutely still okay. I mean, if I get really close with my magnifying mirror, you know, there's just a tiny bit of breakdown right here. But I've been in 87 degree heat high humidity, walking all over this farm with the vet doing certifications. It's, I mean, seriously, I'm surprised that this foundation is on at all. And it's because of this primer that I tried today. I am so excited about it. This foundation has never looked this good, but this is bugging me. So I am going to, I'm going to touch it up. But that's all I needed to do. And it is fine. I would seriously get in the get in the vehicle and go to dinner right now and not not be bothered by this at all. <sighs> this foundation works so well with this primer. Let me take you on the journey quickly through the week. Two days I used this. This is the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. This did not work. First time this has not worked with a foundation. I just thought that was really odd. Monday I had used my Master Blur Stick never had an issue with this before because I was really surprised. You can tell I have used this ridiculously and it, it didn't do as bad as this, but I thought, well, if this did okay, then this will do better. And then it, it didn't. So then Thursday, I pulled out my Tatcha and I think I even did a, I think I did a get ready with me. I pulled out my Tatcha and I used this because, you know, I just, I just knew it would be amazing. And 
And let me tell you, it was not amazing. It was not as bad as this but it was not amazing. And I'm like, what is going on? I've heard so many people talk about this foundation. So today I remembered, I put a couple new things here in front of me that I had not yet tried. And I remembered getting this. This is the Revolution Pro Blur Stick. I showed this in a haul, or at least I think I did. I talked about this reminding me of this Tarte, what is it? The Tarte Clean Slate. The consistency and the feel of this just reminds me of that. And I just, I was like, I had no, I had no hope really. I was just wanting to try this primer and I just put it on directly from here. It looks like deodorant or something, but put it on, I put it on my nose, I put a little bit up here. I just took my fingers and pressed it in and then I applied my foundation. Honestly, up till today, after four and a half, five hours, this was done on me. It was done on me. I looked blotchy and it's not my complexion. My complexion's in pretty good condition. I put it on and I had fixed lunch and it was probably, I don't know, maybe it was 11 30, 12 o'clock. It had been on a couple hours, three hours, something like that. And I came in here to look. I thought I was going to do my final look then. And I'm like, this is still looking okay. This is really looking good. And as I said, you saw me. That's the first time I've touched up in eight and a half hours. And it still looks good. That stick primer is the only thing different I have done. So I'm really excited to keep using it. That must be really, really gripping to make that much difference in this foundation because it legit was not staying on me. I would have given up on being able to do my video today if this would have looked the way it's looked the rest of the week. So I really don't know what to think about this foundation because it looks good now. I'm looking in the monitor, looking in the mirror. It still looks good. I don't mind a little bit of a glow up through here. I have some highlight on, but... I don't know. It's just really, really weird. So I think I'm the only one that was kind of stunned by the way it faded off after just a few hours. I did do a full face of Wet n Wild. I hope that you've seen that by now. If not, you will probably see it Monday or Tuesday, one of those, the beginning of the week. And I literally threw a few things away because it was just that bad. The things that really stuck out to me in that full face video, Wet n Wild's Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. I really do like this. Now, if I had a little bit of a self tan, I don't know how much it's going to show up on me, but I did really enjoy it. This is a good old, who remembers this Heather Silk blush? Y'all, this is just so good. It is so pretty on. It just like gives you the best it almost gives you a cheek lift. It's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. The bronzers that I used this week, the number seven, this is in maple. I had to, I had to pull out some really light ones because I'm so fair. If I would grab a really dark one, I would look a little bit odd. And I got to try these two new ones. You just saw them hauled with my Marshalls haul. This is the Laura Geller in Siesta Medium. Isn't that pretty? It is so gorgeous. I mean, it is the exact color I need right now. Let me. With no self tan, it's not too much, and it just just gives me some definition and some color because I am so fair. And the Elizabeth Arden. Now, this is deep too. I just don't see anything deep. But it has that collar there, that like a blush collar that's going to give you a more natural look if you are fair and sometimes you're afraid it's going to turn a funny collar. That is so pretty when they put like a blush collar in there to kind of balance it. Several times I pulled out my Romantic Rose from Milani. So pretty, so nice. It goes with everything. And then after I did my haul, I started using this Pool Party. Today I have on both of these. 
standout lips this week, I had two. I wore this pink in the afternoon so much this week. I have one in my purse and I have one in here. And so often I would put it over something I had, like if it was starting to fade a little, I would just pop this on it and it just blended in so nice and really added a nice pop to my lips. A couple times I left mom's and I didn't have anything at all on my lips and I didn't even put a lip liner on it. I just popped this. It's just gorgeous. It goes with just about anything. I am very much more a cool tone person than a warm tone person when it comes to my lips. But this Act Natural from Revlon, their vinyl lip polish. Now I will tell you with this, I will tell you with this that I do have to have a good lip liner on. By good, I mean one that's a little more creamy. It's going to build a little more of a barrier. If I don't, then it is going to travel. I cannot just put this on my bare lips but I have it on again today. It hasn't gone anywhere, so that is a definite plus. I'm pretty sure this is the one Kathy talked about. This is the Sephora Lashcraft Big Volume Mascara. I fell in love with this the first time I used it. I've used it the rest of the week. It is so pretty. It doesn't flake. It doesn't do anything weird under my eyes. It builds my lashes so nicely. I was going to put on false lashes to do this video and once I put this on I knew I didn't need it. Now I did also grab the Lashcraft Lash Primer. This is a, a white off-white colored lash primer very much like my essence. I've used these together each time that I've worn the mascara. So tomorrow I might use this with the essence and see if the magic's in this or if they have to be together or if the magic's just in I just just see how well I like it without this one. And then for my eyes, um, today was my first day using the Born to Run palette. This was when I had asked, you know, give me some palettes that you have in your collection that have been forgotten about or that you feel that we've forgotten about it, even if we suggested it as a video creator or shared how much we liked it and then you got it and then it just like dropped off and nobody did any looks with it. And this was one of the first ones and I've had this I've had this since they came out and today was the first day I used it. So I have all those on my eyes. Now up to today, all last week, I used the new Jackie Ina palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Y'all, this was beautiful. This was a joy to put on. Everything blended so nicely together. It worked beautifully. I used all of the colors except for this gold one because well, I just don't do gold. I don't care for gold. I don't like gold on me. I don't care for it at all. I have way too many pink tones. I just don't think it's flattering. I will be getting that video edited and up by midweek, I would hope. I would get all those clips up of using this palette. Gorgeous palette, so much fun. I really, really enjoyed this palette. I had made mention that there was like an eight and a half hour gap from me doing my makeup this morning until this evening being able to go in and do a finished look. In that time, I used these, I just picked these up at Ulta the other day. My friend that's an assistant manager and I found out she's moving, she's moving to Ohio. But she told me, she said, if you haven't tried these, you need to. And I was like, really? And the only thing is, this is the best brand, she said, that they sell in Ulta as far as that is actual nail polish. This is not a sticker. It's the actual nail polish. But they all have glitter. To me, it's like really chunky. Which one here? I mean, it's pretty. Not bad for my first try, but nevertheless, it's a little chunky but it was so easy. So while I was waiting for the vet to get here, I just did my nails while I waited. And these were super easy. That's the brand again. And you get two little sheets of the nails. Where's the other thing? You get two individual moist wipes and they have alcohol on them. I'm sure that's all it is. 
and then you get a nail file and you get <clears throat> excuse me two long sheets of these all you have to do you have to you know tear them apart size them up which goes to which nail and then you take the plastic off just this little cellophane thing and then you take there's a little little silver tab right there and you take and you just and this is legit nail polish i know i'm late to the show but i might not be the only one and you just lay this across your finger and you press it and it says to take that off but i waited and then i broke it off like that and then you go around and then you just take this nail file and you file it off on the tips of your nails and it's that easy so i'm anxious to see how they wear how they last i do still have um, artificial nails on but you definitely would not have to you could use these on your bare nails and it would be a nice protective thing I just wish they would come out with more like she said that didn't have glitter because not always a glitter girl on my nails that's yeah, that's just me here's one of the little individual nail prep pot pads I'm sure it's just alcohol in there that about wraps up my week as far as beauty goes I hope that you all have a really great day and have an amazing start to your week. I appreciate in the comments all the well wishes. I hate to mention not feeling well, but I don't want anybody to feel that I've been ignoring them with comments. But honestly, being sick and then I had vertigo and I had dizziness on top of my vertigo that was caused by medication. It was, it, I've been a mess. When I would try to reply to comments, I just it would just kick my vertigo in and I just could not and I know some of those are a couple weeks late I'm going to be working on this weekend to get caught up because y'all took time y'all took time and I made a promise when I decided not to quit doing videos I wanted to make sure I got back with you all don't be don't think man she's really weird she's replying to something that I wrote three months ago not really three months but it feels like it because I hate being behind but I will get there I will get caught up I send you all so much love I appreciate each one of you I hope that you have an amazing week I really really do so take care till then I hope everything's going great and I will see you then